Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento from beautiful Andalusia, Spain. Our trip here was both stressful and exhausting. In an odyssey that took from May 2nd to June 9th, we covered most of northern Mexico and the eastern United States. By car. I relate the whole story in a series of videos entitled My Trip to Spain in my website feastfastforlife.com we keep one thing constant, we only ate one meal a day. And surprisingly, I actually lost weight. Let's discuss that in this, the second episode in the series, Nomad on Omad. Hi, this is Juan Sarmiento. Over the last couple of months, we have been homeless, traveling through Mexico and the US, awaiting for the opportunity to get on a plane and travel to Spain. We gave away or sold all but a few of our belongings and our house, keeping our car as I explained in my previous episode. Now I want to tell you about how we kept our OMAD lifestyle while on the road through Mexico and the US, until we finally could travel to Spain. Before I do that, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and give a like to this video. If you click on the bell, you will be notified of my videos to come. Thank you. Since May 1st, we had the plan to rent an apartment or Airbnb somewhere in Mexico while we waited for Spain to reopen its borders. Unfortunately, this was not a viable solution because we could not find an Airbnb that suited our needs. So we became true nomads in the search of the right place to stay. We visited Mazatlán, Puerto Vallarta, Guadalajara, Lake Chapala, Querétaro, and San Miguel Allende. Beautiful places to visit, but we did not find what we wanted for a longer stay. So we kept going up to Monterrey by late May, at which time Spain plans to reopen its borders seem to be scheduled by June. So we arranged for tickets to Madrid from New York simply because Delta, parting from New York, seemed to be the only airline willing to allow Ginny, our little dog, into the cabin. Unable to cook our own meals, we had to rely mostly on restaurants we encountered in the cities we visited. You will find that fast food meals will not take you to satiety, so you may have a need to eat something additional shortly thereafter. Therefore, our eating windows was as large as six hours. Our accommodations did not permit me to do my exercise routine, so I lost condition during the trip. Although we did walk often, we spent many hours driving. Eventually, we crossed the United States and found that hotels were more expensive, but driving was safer and easier. However, Food continued to be a problem, although franchise restaurants were abundant throughout. I don't blame anyone constantly on the road for not being able to avoid fast food, but I do believe that even the milder of intermittent fasting schedules will result in weight loss, as in my case. In the US, I had the chance to visit some friends and family, which received us with much love and enthusiasm for us in our adventure. However, we were still in a mix of restaurant eating and having some home-cooked meals thanks to their hospitality. Exercise was still difficult as we spent much time driving. Walking was the only exercise we could do and only occasionally. By early June, we had tickets to Madrid, which we had changed three times, 
due mostly to issues with Chini's health permit to enter Spain. At long last, on the 9th, we were on an overnight plane due to arrive in Madrid on June the 10th. In just a few days, we finally rented an apartment to be our home for 12 months. It is a small and cozy unit with gorgeous views from a balcony suited for my exercise. We had arrived. Yesterday, I saw my younger brother and his wife after several years. They are both medical doctors. My sister-in-law remarked about both my wife's and my physical form at our age. I said that we owe this to our OMAD lifestyle. She thought that it's probably our demanding exercise routine, not just the OMAD. I noted that OMAD is not just a weight-losing diet, it is a whole lot more as it has several benefits. An enhanced physical performance is one of them. OMAD promotes the metabolic switch from a metabolism dependent on carbohydrates consumption to one dependent on fat mobilization as a source of energy. The ketones produced by fat mobilization are a great source of energy for the heart, muscles and the brain. Ketones increase our physical and mental performance. Check my previous videos on the subject for more detail. By eating our OMAD early in the day, we assure the uninterrupted secretion of growth hormone as we go to bed at night. Postponing breakfast further prolongs the effects of growth hormone on our muscle performance and fat mobilization. By doing our exercise routine early in the morning and eating after it, we assure the consumption of our glycogen stores and the lowering of the blood levels of glucose and amino acids. These trigger the AMPK system, which in turn promotes autophagy. Don't forget to check my video on the subject. Autophagy is the intracellular recycling mechanism. This has disease resistance and prevention features, as well as activation of mitochondria. This is how we are able to maintain a physical and mental performance that impresses our relatives. Now that I am at home, comfortable and waiting for my residency status to complete, I have finally time to eat a full, nutritious meal and start my push-up routine every day. Unfortunately, my loss of condition means that I have to start from scratch. By the time I left California, I could do over a thousand push-ups in a little over an hour. On June 25th, my first day of training, I could only do 59 push-ups. I have a long way to go. On the first five days, I experienced pain all day long, especially when doing my routine. Today, July 6th, for the first time since I restarted, I have experienced no pain and was able to do 165 push-ups. A quick update. Today is July the 30th and I was able to do 548 push-ups. I have made great progress, but there is still a long way to go to my previous performance. I will keep you posted on my progress. If I can return to my previous condition at age 64, why not you too? In addition to my push-up routines, I have also been walking daily in the hilly area where I chose to live now. I have shown what can be done with OMAD. This will be one more piece of evidence of its great benefits for health and performance at any age. Could I reestablish my eating habits that I dropped two months ago? Could I regain my physical performance after two months on the road? This will be the ultimate test of the nomad on omad lifestyle. My goal is to travel routinely, 
starting with short trips and planned meals and hiking or other activities in a way that helps rather than hinders my lifestyle. I look forward to this new lifestyle with great optimism because, as always, to me, life is looking up. Thank you.